Hi guys, welcome back again to my channel again. This is Francis Glenn Fidic, and for today I just want to show you a little bit of experimentation that I have done today, which also surprised me. So this is about Dahlia cutting propagation. So as you all know, guys, especially for those of you who have been watching my video since last year, um, I have been doing uh cuttings propagation of my um petunias before because uh, last summer, if you guys are new to my channel. Um, I have been really a big, big fan of um, petunias. So I have plenty of petunias here in our garden. All right, those were my petunias in the past. And I was able to propagate them through cuttings as well. And surprisingly, I found out that uh, dahlias are also very, very easy to propagate through cuttings. And what I like about cuttings is that you can get the exact copy of the mother plant. And at the same time, they flower so quickly compared to um, propagating um, any plants through the use of seeds. So I really prefer cuttings. That's why I made this experimentation today. And I hope you guys will be able to uh, learn from this uh, video that I'm uh, making today. And for those of you who have um, done this one before, please feel free to uh, share your comments or your advice. And if you want to uh, watch also my uh, blog about my petunia cuttings, I also have it here in my channel. Just feel free to hit the subscribe button so you'll be able to browse all the videos in the past that I've done here in this channel. And I hope um, you guys are so excited to uh, watch this video. So I'm not going to keep you waiting for so long. So let's get started. Okay, guys. So um, we are just going to look for... Um, a plant that we can use for cuttings but um, I'm thinking maybe I will use this one this one that I have in here so this is um, my um, Arabian night so as you can see there are lots of um, shoots in here lots of going on in here and <clears throat> based on what I've heard on the internet um, the maximum shoots that you can um, grow Ideally is at least just five and this one is I think around 10 already So I'm going to remove some of the shoots and I'm going to use it as uh, my cutting for this um, Project that I'm doing right now. So that's what I'm going to show you in a short while and stick around Okay, so I just washed this scissor guys just to let you know even though it doesn't look like one Because I've been using this one to kill some slugs here in our garden if I see some But um, anyway, um, now I'm just trying to sterilize it as much as possible because I don't want to transfer any um, diseases to uh, these cuttings that I'm uh, gonna be doing for today So it's up to you guys if you want to do it, you can do it as well If you don't want to then you have your options This is just uh, I think the best thing for me Alright, so here is my Arabian night dahlia. So I'm just looking at um, an angle which one uh, or which shoots among these shoots, which one will be the lucky one that we can use for our um, cutting experiment for today. So I think this one is a bit um, kind of hard to cut. So that's why I'm using this small scissor guys because I think this is the only scissor that can fit inside this um, cave of um, dahlias. So yeah. I'm just gonna get uh, my scissor. And we're going to take the cuttings now. All right, there you go, guys. So I had uh, this very nice and really looking good cuttings in here. So what I did here, guys, is I tried to um, cut the cuttings as close as possible to the tuber. And uh, now I'm uh, removing some extra leaves in here because at this stage, 
um, the priority of these cuttings is uh, to, pro to produce roots more than the photosynthesis because um, photosynthesis is not probably the main priority at the moment because you know guys that uh, photo photosynthesis is happening through uh, the use of their leaves but at the moment since it doesn't have any roots then it needs to produce its roots so now I'm using Ibadex this is uh, my powdered rooting hormone that I usually uh, use for my cuttings especially um, with my petunias also in the past it's very very effective I must say so let's just put some in um, in the cap and then we are going to dip the bottom of the cuttings the base of the cuttings and then yeah just make sure that um, it has it's um, enough it, it has enough um, powdered hormone okay and then we're just gonna get the pot and put it in this pot so I'm just going to make a hole in the middle of this uh, pot okay and then now we're going to put the cuttings there cutting or cuttings all right there you go and then after that I'm just going to um, make sure that it's a bit uh, tight and then now I'm just going to spray it with uh, some water just to make it a little bit moist so that it can help the uh, cutting to produce uh, roots like later on and there you go there you have it so we have one new cutting now and hopefully it will be successful guys and i will definitely update you with this one for sure so look at this one as i was transferring this um firefat dahlia um when i bought this one i saw this um sprout or shoot coming out and it was cut so this is the shoot and i just um put it together with a mother plant and now i just remove it because i'm transferring it to a bigger pot and now i notice that it's starting to have some roots so that's how easy you can really um propagate your dahlias through cuttings even a small one like this can really you know um, survive all right guys so i think that would be all for today so as you can see i'm uh, transferring lots of my uh, dahlia cuttings in a bigger uh, pot now and um if you want me to make a video also about this one feel free to um let me know and i can definitely do that one and i can also share with you what are the ingredients of this um mud or uh, potting mix that i'm using uh, for my uh, dahlia uh, tubers so yeah guys so i hope you enjoyed this uh, video and it inspired you to um, propagate your data through cuttings if you want to uh, get the exact copy of the mother plant and if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions guys please feel free to uh, write down your uh, comment in the comment section down below and again if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and if, you, if this video made you happy please feel free to hit that subscribe button now and again, guys, thank you, thank you very much, and I will see you again on my next one. Bye!